Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, continuing on with our raiding videos and Lux building tips. This time we will be answering the question of, does attribute matter? So in this video, I'm going to be using two setups. They're both going to be counterpoints. And again, the only difference between the two setups is going to be a soul medal. So here are our two setups. The non-Lux building setup is going to have our power medal, our Meow Justy, um, which is going to have attack boost 2 max as well as strength plus 1000. So it does have a bit more strength than uh, our other metal and it does have a higher multiplier than our other metal meaning that the meow just will be dealing out more damage um so that's going to be our main comparison when we compare it to the other setup our lux building setup which is going to have that classic donald that we saw earlier it's going to have whoa this is the wrong classic donald let's go ahead and switch that back um so the classic Donald we need is the one with the the one with the AB2 Max Lux Plus on it. Here we go. Is this it? AB2 Max Lux Plus. Perfect. So this is going to be our comparison. Again, the Meow Just D had a higher multiplier. It had a higher strength. So the comparison might be a little bit off. But if anything, the Meow Just D being stronger is going to prove our point even more that attribute doesn't matter it really matters that you put the luck skill on there so let's go ahead hop in with our with our non lux build setup our non lux building setup and then just go in and see how much lux we actually get from you know correctly matching the attributes so we're fighting a speed enemy and we're going to be using our meow just which is a power metal meaning that it will be strong to the speed enemy uh, so the main difference that's going to make, in my opinion, is just going to be how quickly we get through the raid boss. It's not really going to affect much else, in my opinion. Oh, it also, just another point, it has AB2 max, and so does Donald. So Donald also has AB2 max. AB2 max with Lux Plus on the Donald. So again, this is just going to be a test. As you can see, the attribute chart is in the corner there, if you need kind of just proof that we will be using a strong a strong against speed so we're going to be using power which is strong against speed in our non-lux building setup and then we will be using magic against speed in the next raid uh in the next raid boss which is uh weak to speed so we will be doing weak damage in the raid setup and we are doing strong damage in this setup right now Strong damage, super effective damage. It's, it's. I've been seeing it called a few different things. I like super effective because uh, it does reference like Pokemon games, and Pokemon games are some of the few games that a lot of us started off with. So I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say super effective damage and uh, weak damage, resistance damage. I don't know what to call the the reverse of it. All right. So let's. Uh, I think we should be able to get it in this run through. Again, our um, our key art beginnings has AB2 max on or AB3 max Lux plus on it, meaning that it's gonna be doing uh, slightly more Lux. We're gonna be getting slightly more Lux than expected, but again, it's the same between the two setups, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Okay, so from our non-Lux building setup, we have four million six hundred sixty-one thousand seven hundred thirty-four as our Lux total. Let's go ahead and switch to our Donald, which is weak to speed. It's going to be doing not super effective damage, the opposite of super effective damage, which is like weak damage, resistance damage, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and spawn up another raid boss, except this time we will be using our Donald, which is going to have the Lux skill on it. Which kind of opens up another question that I'm going to make a note for later to do. Um, Uh, you know, gosh, this is kind of hard. So I'm going to make a new video, um, and I'm going to add it to the list. I won't be able to get to that one this weekend, but hopefully I'll be able to test it out either next weekend, if not the weekend after. It's going to be the idea of uh, how much Lux do you actually, or how much difference does it make using a, using a metal that's strong against the raid boss. So power against speed, or speed against magic, versus, you know, one with a Lux skill and one without a Lux skill. I'm like learning which videos to make as I'm doing this, so bear with me here. Okay, so we're going to go in using our classic Donald B. Again, this one has weaker stats than the Meow Justy, but it has the Lux Plus skill on it. 
So we'll see how much of a difference that makes in terms of our Lux building. So again, we're just going to bide our time. We're going to let the raid boss take its course. Um, the conditions are pretty much exactly the same, minus the fact that, you know, those things that I talked about earlier, the strength, the, uh, the multiplier, stuff like that, the attribute. And just another tidbit to add in here, since uh, all the buffers I've used buff PSM strength or lower PSM defense, uh, it's going to be consistent. It's going to be consistent because we didn't boost just power or we didn't boost just magic. And I believe we haven't gotten either power or magic boosters for the month. Meaning that, again, they should still both be at uh, pretty, pretty similar guilt percentages or special attack bonus percentages. Also, for people who are new that are watching this, like newer to the game, I know I use a lot of terminology. Um, so if you have any questions on what any particular terms mean, please feel free to ask. I want to help people get good at this game. Get good at this game. Um, I want to help people improve in this game. I want to help parties that are, like, at that borderline be more competitive. Because, you know, the game doesn't do a very good job with tutorials or teaching you how to do things. So I feel like it's up to, like, other players, other YouTubers, to show people the, the way to do things and show you know what we've learned in what the game's been out for like 642 days 643 days at this point so there's like a, a lot of knowledge to give to newer players who want to join who want to be competitive and i feel like if you're competitive like i am like you want to hop in you want to like start by hitting the ground running and just making you know big waves and joining high lux rank parties high lux <laughs> parties that generate a lot of luck let's just leave it at that so this is again just a tutorial to help people out and i hope that someone out there finds it useful so with our donald that had the luck skill on it again donald is magic which is weak to speed whereas the meow just was power and strong against speed the difference in lux is going to be wow it's pretty substantial here uh, so, from our Donald run, we have 5,557,374. In comparison to our last video, which we used the Meowgesty, which is powerful against speed, uh, that is a difference of about 900,000. About 900,000. Uh, it's a little bit less than that. On the Meowgesty run, we got... 4,661,734 in comparison to our now score of 5,557,371. So that's another way that you can improve Lux. The attribute doesn't matter. It really matters if it has that Lux skill on it. Uh, so with that being said, this concludes this test for uh, how to use the Lux skill and should you be using it on you know, something that is correctly matched with the raid boss or it doesn't not matter what you throw it on. This test was sort of to prove that you could throw it on your strongest metal. So the point is that you could throw it on your strongest metal. It might not be super effective damage against the raid boss, but it will still generate more lux than something that is powerful against the raid boss that doesn't have the lux plus skill on it. So again, this lux plus skill is very, very important, very, very crucial to getting that high lux rankings again boosting your party's lux total up so that you can become more competitive uh, with that being said if you guys have any questions comments or concerns feel free to throw them in the comments below and i will try my best to answer it um, i have to keep going on with these raid videos just so that i can you know get through as much as i can in one weekend while i'm able to generate a boss that's consistently level 99 and being able to generate it quickly uh but yeah I did the outro earlier. Until next time, everyone, take it easy.